Okay, y'all. So today is a mini vlog day. I am um, getting ready. Today is my mom's birthday. Shout out to my mom. So I am at the, well, I'm at a shopping plaza and she wants to buy her outfit. So I'm getting ready to take her inside to see if I can help her find a outfit so that I can purchase it for her for her birthday. So y'all stay tuned. I'll let y'all know what she finds. Okay, guys, so we are in Cato shopping with my mom. And let me tell y'all something. My mama wants to wear black every single day. Everything in her closet almost is black. And I was trying to get her outside of the box. Now, for those of you that know me, y'all know I love color. I love the design in color. I love to wear color. I'm just a color type of girl. But my mom is the exact opposite. Everything is black, okay? She got on black now, and you guys are... I'm going to put in a clip so you can see what kind of outfit she got tonight. She bought, she wore absolutely nothing that we bought from this store. And we spent over $100 in this store. She wore absolutely nothing that she found, that she bought or that I bought for her. But she ended back up with a black outfit on. Y'all help me to understand all these pretty spring colors and mom just want to wear black. But anyway, honey, it's her 66th birthday. She can do what she want to. She can get what she want to. It's her party, okay? So anyway, we're just shopping, guys. But don't click off this video now just because you're not interested in my mama shopping. Because guess what? I got something to show y'all that I found at the end of this video, honey. And if you ain't been out, <laughs> you better get out here in these streets. So y'all stay tuned while we continue to shop. They were playing music, guys, so I could not... Um, keep the volume going, but me and my mom was having some funny conversations, honey. But okay, I'll see y'all on the next clip. No, I won't, because I'm not going to talk on the next clip. Yes, I am. All right, y'all stay tuned, okay? Okay, y'all, so I didn't get a whole, whole lot of footage when I took my mom shopping. For one thing, they were playing music. And then number two, I was trying to shop while she was trying to shop. <laughs> but I ended up, I didn't get anything, but my mom got quite a few things. <clears throat> and y'all, I just wanted to take this time. Y'all know how I do when I do these talking videos. But I just wanted to take a time, take the time out to give a shout out to God. Because I was just thinking like, I remember, and it wasn't that many years ago, that I was not able to do that. You know, like that was only something that was in my imagination to be able to take my mom shopping. And not only was I able to take my mom shopping, I was able to let her buy whatever it is that she wanted to buy. And she had picked up quite a few things and she was like, well, you just get this right here and I'm gonna pay for the rest of it. Cause she was like, do you know how much all this stuff gonna cost? I said, Mom, give me the stuff, okay? It's your birthday. The Lord has blessed me to be able to do this. This is something that I wanted to do years ago. These are things that I w wished and hoped that I could do years ago. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, not going to start preaching today, but I wanted to encourage you guys that regardless of where you are in life, if you continue to show up for the game, you're going to eventually win. If you continue to put the ball in your court, you will eventually win. But the thing is, a lot of times we sit on the sideline and we wait for people to validate us. We wait for people to tell us to go. We wait for people to tell us to stop. We wait for people to tell us to turn left. We wait for them to tell us to turn right. And our whole life is spent based off of the directions and instructions of others. And because of that, you, you stay stuck in a spot and you never elevate in your life. You never elevate in your finances because you're always waiting for people to give you directions and instructions. But I want to let you guys know that stay in the game. Keep the ball dribbling. Don't, don't, don't take a break. Keep going, guys. Keep allowing God to push you into that destined place that he already or always had for your life before the foundation of the earth was framed. And the good news about it, although I'm not at the bottom anymore, I'm not all the way at the top just yet. Like I am, I know that my life is propelling in a upward motion, in a forward motion. But let me tell you this, 
with new levels comes new devils okay not only does it come not only does new devils show up but you will begin to see opposition and you will begin to see jealousy and envy from people sometimes close up on you sometimes far away from you you'll begin to see that and you'll begin to see people um coming against you but fret not yourself of evil doers because at some point they're gonna be cut off so again i just want to encourage you guys to stay in the game stay in the race don't throw in the towel because it gets better the only thing is you got to show up not just with your faith but you got to show up with your works and so many times people just show up with their faith and they be like well i'm praying i'm asking god i'm waiting for god i'm asking god i'm waiting for god no you're not waiting on god god is waiting on you so keep your hands moving keep your hands to the plow and i promise you guys that at some point tables gonna turn and times gonna change or did i say that backwards tables do turn and times do change i don't know if i said it backwards or not but y'all get the point of what i'm saying okay anyway guys i'm getting ready to run in here to dollar tree see what they have and after i leave dollar tree i'm gonna make my way to planet fitness i'm gonna make my way to the gym guys i have dedicated my time to get back i've never stopped going to the gym i just have not been going as faithfully as I used to go. Y'all, I used to work out five, six times a week. Um, but now it's very, very two times, if that, a week. But I try to make sure I keep it going. And even with me not working out at the gym, I still lift weights. I still dance at home. That's why y'all see me dancing all the time because I try to make sure that I keep my heart moving and pumping um, as much as I can throughout the day. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in dollar tree see what they got new y'all know we can't run by no dollar tree without stopping to see what they got in new because you never know what dollar tree gonna have in new they get new stuff in every day so we're gonna stop in here and see what they got and if we got anything good guys i'll show you okay see y'all later Okay, y'all, so they had some really cute and nice Mother's Day items. Some of the items are overly small to me, but hey, to each their own. But there was some pretty nice little items, and those platters were really nice and sturdy, guys. I did not pick up any, but they were pretty good. I did pick up like three of these, I believe, with the sunflowers because I have, it's actually a lotion. I have something in mind that I want to do. They had some great teacher items. I picked up a couple of those, but bam, 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 y'all we moving on over to target if you have not been to target my question is what are you waiting on 90 percent off guys all of these baskets were 90 percent off i do not shop at 75 percent off unless i just have to i wait until things go 90 percent, and this is what i got <laughs> 